Attack! Attack! If you have a tailor, you can still take a hundred days! Ten gold? It's not going to be that bad of a morale cost. The more they cost to miss, the more it's going to take a big morale impact. Yeah, it didn't seem to be of any effect. At all. So they have a couple of ranged guys, so they are probably gonna just stay back, but... I mean, I do have one, so let's, um... Let's do a... Encirclement. Encirclement? <laughs> Sounds like a... A really bad thing to do. Uh, I meant encircle. Let's try and see if we can get... Some range on him with Absurdum. But no. Let's move there. This is really bad to move in. And... I mean, we can move forward here. Because they're gonna be a bit... Oh, they have three, actually. Three ranged. Three ranged dudes! So let's, uh... Let's move forward. Behind the tree. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna charge. Charge them, lads. Let them know who the power is. The true power. We got some good shields. We should be able to withstand a couple of shots. One, two, three. He could potentially move there. Which wouldn't be bad, because he doesn't have any helmet on. So if he does charge in, it's gonna be fine, because I go bash his face in with uh, Niels, the normie. Playing on Expert, you're at day 40, killed three to ban four banded leaders. Oh my god. You're awesome. You are awesome viewers. Awesome viewers. Let's not move there. Let's just move there. Keep everyone tightly packed together behind trees. Hiding out. Nope. Denied. I deny you. That was denied as well. Oh, they are all of them switching. God dang it. Two nets. Oh, nice. Yeah. I should I should get some nets. Oh, didn't I end your turn? Nope. Nope. Tree and shield and tree and shield. Ow, freaky. He's moving back, okay. Makes sense. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh. Oh. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, boy. And, uh... This guy can't switch and use his axe. Unless he has quick pockets, but it didn't seem like he did. Due to... Uh, Due to him missing out on an attack before. So let's let's count on him not having that. Good hit. Yeah, and they are a bit behind here. And he has high morale, good. Let's move you. Let's move you up here. I think maybe I can get him to move in because he has enough enough movement to move past and he can move there and then he can move there no he can't because this is a freaking tree that's a tree in the way oh so I need I need to go in there but that's but that's really bad. Oh, I thought I could move there. That's a small tree. Can't he just stand on it? 
Maybe not. Okay. I will move you around. Move him up instead so we have him to assist. No, you're not dead yet. You cannot move the tree. <laughs> no, I know. That's what I'm so sad about. We'll put him there. Beautiful. So this... This is just impossible. No, we can move through. Nice. Nice. Oh man, the switch. Cool. He could do nothing. Ain't do nothing. Yeah, and he moves down. Good. Really, really good with the shield here. Ouch. Oh! Bugger. Now that sucks. Like, really sucks. Ow. Geisten, that might not be good. For you. Not good news. See if we can hit. Good hit. Good hit, at least. Axe the tree. <laughs> Just axe the tree to move. Would you kindly move? I love that. Good pun. Good pun. Good pun you. Where is he? Oh, here. Shield. Repost and try and kill him. I don't really like the prospects of Geisten's situation here. So hopefully we can uh, we can change that a bit. But we need these guys to come in. 60... Oh, a headshot would have been good. A headshot would have been perfect. But nope. Put his shield up. Poke him! Poke him to death! There. Okay. Okay. That didn't do anything. That was bad. Oh, that is a long axe. Oh, man, Geisten. Just when you show up. Just when you show up. But these guys are by far some of the most nasty ones to meet. Like, bandits are just incredibly, incredibly hard to fight. Oh, what? Why? It didn't say you could hit him. Kill him. Good. At least. At least you have two characters, Muirs. At least you have Secret here as well. Secret is still alive. And kicking. To the face. From Niels. With, re with regards. And uh, two, no, one, and hit, no. Let's put him there. And chop this guy. No, chop him. Come on. Oh, man. Go on him. Good. Oh, it darkened down here. What? Oh, good job, guys. Good job. But yeah, I shouldn't have sent Geisten in there alone. Oh my god, these guys are bloody insane. Go away. I hate you. 
Like, really hate you. Yes! Right in the face! Oh, But not good. Two guys down. Two guys down. They might still survive. <laughs> I think maybe Geisten has a problem. Look at the... Arrow is, like, stuck in his... Artery. His neck. So he might not survive. But okay. And he did not survive. Right, flail this guy. Already. I should never not have moved in there. Okay. Coming for ya. Chop him. Good. Ask him a question. <laughs> Depends on your axing techniques. Ooh, no. Hello and poke me. No. Oh my lord. He does not want to die. Nobody nobody really really wants to die though. I mean, come on. No one wants to die. Today, or tomorrow, or any day for that matter. Come on, get him. Get him. We're tired. We just want to go home. Could you leave us alone? <laughs> By the way, Rand, game that plays don't know any axe puns. Execute me right now, please. <laughs> uh, uh. It's beautiful. That was an accident. Is that pun enough for you? Come on. Good. And shoot him dead. No, not not done. He got his revenge from being axed upon. Uh fine, it's over. Oh no, Geisten and Ragnar. Guys, so sorry. <laughs> Ragnar, you poor thing. You didn't get to show your heavy metal off that much. Bit of repair, a bit of gold, a crossbow. That's not a light crossbow. That is a crossbow. Oh, the battle is over, but decisions are still yet to be made. A few brigands survived the battle. Observe them, the warrior stands over one, his sword to the prisoner's neck. And he asks you what you wish to do. Take their arms and chase them away. Yeah, I mean, we're, they surrendered, so it's fine. Clemency for thieves and brigands doesn't come often, so when you let the prisoners go, they practically kiss your feet as though they were attached to a god. I am a god. We're not getting paid. We're not getting paid for killing them. We we actually were. Actually, actually, sorry. <laughs> that was actually our our agreement with him. Oh, it's it's here. It says drive away the brigands. Drive away the brigands. So we should put them in cars and drive them somewhere. Offshore. Cool. The pain! It hurts! When you do that, it hurts. Ah, oh, okay, so we can put these two new guys in. Got a crossbower? A crossbower? 40 to 60, that's pretty good. Uh, 
and spear there, spear there, spear on the side, and one spear there would be good. Need an armor for you. I think we're gonna go with a spear. I don't have any more boar spears. Nope. Oh, we do have a long axe now. 70 to 95. Wow, that is good. 110. Shield damage of 24 and chance to hit head. And he has 110, 40 to 70. So the long axe is actually... Wow, a lot better. That is brilliant. Cards. Yeah, card. Not not cars. Card. Card. Sorry. Cards. <laughs> Always the cards. <laughs> the cards. Okay. We can level up. Secret the second. Plus one. Oh, come on. Come on. Health. And whatever. Resolve. That is bad. Tanky, so Steel Brow would be good. Hold out, quick hands. What do you want for Siegfried? Let me know. Stonewall, the meat shield. Resolve. And fatigue. Yeah, but you wanted him to be an axe, dude. Ask me the question. I asked, asked you a question. What do you want for him? <laughs> this guy has the, yeah, shield expert. And he is crippling strikes and will go for shield expert as well. For Knut. Oh, three. Nice. Two fatigue. A bit of melee. And health. Man, I can't believe we lost two in that fight. That's not okay. Sapduck cake, we're gonna give the executioner. And plus three, good. Five and four. Awesome. Wow, our... He, he got hurt quite a bit, Crunch. I'm actually thinking... Get that off him. Thirty-four to forty-five. No, this is better. So it I mean it's good, but it's not that impressive. Against the armor, it's really good. Oh, so he could actually just have that. And we can switch if they have armor, because that is sucky against armor. Dude. Learning. It's still learning. It's a learning experience. All of this. All of this is. Right. Let me see, what did you say? Give him a two-hander sword, plus give him gifted, he needs it. Let's give him gifted. Plus three, plus three, and fatigue. We'll give him the two-hander. And then we'll give him uh, quick hands. I'm thinking uh, quick hands next time. Oh, makes you more accurate? Okay, cool. We'll keep him axe as well. Axe wielding. Cool. Let's go back. Let's go back to Lernerberg. That's not Lernerberg, that's Lernerberg. Oh! During camp, you feel good today. Ready to lead the knightly bodyhood through any challenge to come. You gather the men around, kicking Knut Knut the Mindless <laughs> to his feet and telling Crunch Hard Run to finish scraping away hairs on his neck, neck later. When, they the, with the, when their muttering has subsided, you start to address them. What do you tell the men the company will do? Our company is ill-prepared to fight armored opponents. We shall train two men to master the hammer in combat. No knight will be safe. 
Already we are known in some part of the land, we, yet we're still far from being a legendary company. We shall increase our renown further. The company lacks competent archers, limiting our tactical options. We shall train three men to master bow and crossbow. The company is doing great. No. I think he's right, though. About the uh, armored opponents. That could be good. But is that something we want to aim for? I mean, it's, it's going to take a while. Let's do uh, increase renown. Glorious. 2750. Okay. So we just need to be doing what we're doing. Do what we do. Conrad the Younger leans back in his chair, folding his hands over his lap. Cell swords don't sit right with many folks. I suppose on the account of y'all killing and destroying whole villages on a short change whim. But I'll admit you've done good. He nods to a corner of the room where a wooden chest lays unopened. Here it is, but I won't be offended if you need to count. Thank you. Oh, we have more contracts. Cool. So we don't need all these axes. And we could sell that. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I, I picked that one. Hope it's okay. These are worth like nothing. I want to go to that armory though. See see if we can craft that armor. Getting rid of that cumbersome shield. It because it doesn't it doesn't add more melee defense or range defense than one of these. And, and it adds 22 fatigue, so that's 6 more. It just has a bit more durability, but not really that important. If ya catch my drift. And this one as well, minus 22. It's worth a lot. So worth a lot. <laughs> um, let's, let's do that first. No. But yeah, oh man. A militia for 1100 with two level up? I think so, yes. So, we need to name these new guys Knut and Edward and Ivar. What is Ivar? He is melee. Fair, fair melee, fair melee. Gonna give him that. That's an okay armor. And we can give him this. Just don't want that on him. Well, we don't really have a lot else. We do have a maze. Or just a spear. Yeah, just a spear. Let's leave him out for now. Ivar. Let's see. Alright, we need a name. And... Let me find one here. I'm gonna go to the bottom and see... What we have. Mewis, Fenrir, Mewis, Dwarf Furious. Do we have any Dwarf Furious characters? I don't think so. He wants me to name a character stupid though. <laughs> oh, and he's tiny. This guy's tiny. Ah, oh. Stupid. Dwarf. The Dwarf. I mean, isn't there a stupid dwarf, or is in the nine dwarfs thing, or not? 
can't remember. <laughs> it's, yeah, he's tiny. It's perfect. It couldn't be any better. This is uh, Dwarf Furious' new character. That's what you get for uh, for doing that. And then we're gonna get. We're gonna get. Handy. Handy NL redeemed the name. Wilfred. The Marauder. That's cool. Thank you, Handy. That came in handy. Indeed. Alright, let's level this guy up. Um. Plus three, plus five, and plus three. Oh, it said two levels, though. Oh, okay. It just mixes them together, I guess. Oh, he has two. Good. And let's give him gifted as well. No, we can't. Okay. I thought he got two levels. So two just means one. I don't get it. I tried to get it, I flailed miserably. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Ooh, the wolves say... Hello. Oh, nice. That was a big one. And we can do something here as well. Let's go to the armor. So how do I how do I tell them to craft this armor workshop? No. So here? Oh I need a tailoring station then. Or something. Of the likes. Not an armor. Oh, that's a big one. 285. The fatigue drain is horrible, though. So these. And that. And this. A knife. Wanna get. Wanna get an, a dagger. For one of these. Rundle dagger. That is one of the best daggers. I think that is tier 3. Noble sword, two-handed hammer. Wow. They are expensive things. And javelins is like the upgrade of axes then. Yeah. Let's get the dagger so we have it in our uh, immediate vicinity. And I wanted to... Oh, Nils! Nils leveled up! I wanted to make Nils into a dagger wielder. Because his initiative is pretty good, so we can make him into a dodge dagger wielding dude. That's 3Ds. 3Ds, guys! 3D. And to do that, I think crippling strikes would be good. Or... Maybe Pathfinder? Nine lives. I haven't actually used nine lives at all. Hmm. Hey, Abaddon, welcome to the stream. Welcome. Heavy Lammer, I have one because I daggered down at Bandit. So, do you go uh, crippling strikes on a dagger wield? Is that a good thing, I think? Or fast adaptation, maybe? I think we're gonna go with this, and then Executioner, and then Backstabber, and then Dagger. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, it's 20 to 40. It's pretty good. And then I'll get the dodge thing as well. Dodge there. Because that's based off his initiative. Yeah, yeah. If he survives that one, that is. If he survives. 
359, that's a really horrible. Salt. Let's get salty, guys. I didn't mean to insult anyone. <laughs> it's perfect. Perfect. What did the cat say? Perfect. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop now. Not like Rave the Falcon. What? The architect. Nope. I think we need to go much further north to get to get any uh, cultists for Thorium. A messenger, a young lad. Uh, there we go. Baron Rymar, I need you to go where? Go here. He trails the finger to another location. And then here? One long patrol. Cool. 290 in advance, 60 crowns per head you bring back. More. 60 crowns and 300 in advance. Let's do it. Let's do it. And uh, the patrol is to Valheim there all right so we go we go kill stuff that's good it's a good I like these missions sometimes because you can choose pick and choose what you fight you don't have to go to a brigand camp we can follow with these company things hello Oh yeah, we can just go here. Oh! Uh... Oh yeah, remember you can redeem names, guys. If you mouse over the stream, right over here, you can click the uh, golden cookie and redeem names for the stream. A woman jumps out of the tree lines bes beside the path. Oh, thank the gods. My prayers have been answered. Please, come quick. My grandpapa has fallen down the well. She turns and hurries away as though you already agreed to help her. Stonewall the meat shield glances at you and shrugs. <laughs> I think I think this is uh, an ambush, but let's let's go. I guess we'll go. Wow. That's a long okay. You decide it's worth your time and go take a look. The old man was doing repairs on the wellhead, a wooden framework meant to be covering its opening when it broke apart and sent him plunging down. Staring into the well, you find the man staring back up. He gives a wave. Oi there, fellas! I'm a bit of a pickle. I'm actually being pickled now that I think about it. He punned it! I love this guy. I love it. Hey, Thorium! Being on... on the Twitch ad? Seriously? Oh, that is insane. Oh, cool. Maybe it'll uh, throw off some some followers. Who knows? Awesome. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, I didn't know. Eh, right. Stonewall the meat shield throws down a rope and the old man ties it around himself. You and the sellsword pull the woman's grandfather up and back to dry land. He shakes your hand and thanks you cordially. Cool. Fucking hell. Glad you came when you did. I was about to shit and piss like no other. <laughs> oh man. The mouth on this guy. Let me tell you, this ain't my first time going down the well. Five years ago, I'd done it while repairing the wellhead because, well, the wellhead breaks so often, you see. Really? It does? Like, that's a thing? Uh, and it's not really a wellhead. We just call it that because we're lazy. Back in my day, we called it a, uh, well, well, a well. Actually, I for done forgot. <laughs> I guess a wellhead makes sense now. As I'm not well in the head. Oh, still got it. It was quite the charmer in my days. This is me. I think it's me. Jesus. Uh, not often I get to put the practice in. The wife died 10 years ago, and the one prior to her left me 20 winters ago. 
I say winters because that's when she left me in the winter. It was brutal one, and I asked her to help chop the wood lest we all freeze. She said she was do wasn't doing that shit and taking care of the kids at the same time. I had kids with her as well as with the second wife. I'll try to be honest with myself about it, but you know, there's hope. If a random stranger can be found in the forest to save me in the nick of time, then maybe my son's uh, maybe my son survived that battle with the greenskins. Ain't heard of him though. I prayed to the old gods and even that Davkur fella every now and again. Do you know Davkur? I'm not sure what to make of it. One time, this man carried by with a scar on his forehead said he'd show me the way of darkness. I said I see darkness every time I nap. Ha! <laughs> I love this guy. This scarred fella said one day, I won't wake, and I said good. Ha! So then this scar scarred be bastard starts getting upset with me. As he drones on, you look around for Stonewall the meat shield, only to find him stepping out of a woman's uh, out of the woman's home. The lady herself carrying a bit of obvious warmth to her face. You retrieve your cell sword and leave before the old man lops your head with the most long-winded and one-sided conversation ever. And of course Stonewall the Meat Shield gets eager. <laughs> ah, that's beautiful. Now we have safe roads here. Ah, oh, that was funny. Marketplace. Uh, we have enough for one day. Let's grab some of this rain. And... Slowly running out of arrows, but not really. Not really. It's me later. Yeah, that was totally me. No, I've been looking, Thorium. No cultist as of yet. Messenger. Retired. God dang it. So we can sell the salt for 408. That's not that's not really a lot of gold though. Let's keep keep it for now. I didn't bring it that far. Davkul. Davkul is awesome. I really hope that triggers at some point. What was that? What the heck? Is that just a glitch? Yeah, it's a glitch, okay. Alright, boys, we need to find something to fight here. Let's go out here. Let's go into the wilderness. Into the wild. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Feel the bones! Many ancient auxiliaries and a few ancient legionnaires. I don't want to fight these guys. Are they coming? Yeah, they're coming. They are coming. Oh, hi, Brigand. They are going for me. Okay. Sure. Oh, no, they were running past. <laughs> Engage. Winter is coming, indeed. That was totally what that was. Go into the wilds and then winter undead cometh. At least now we have two range, guys. At least. Your stream crashed. Oh, dang it. Dang it, you doodle. Oh, I want his armor. Oh, I want your armor. Can I have your armor? So that is the... Puncture. Hello. Figured. Twenty three to hit. Forty seven. Okay. I think I'll take that shot. Nope. Did not hit. What about you? You can shoot him or that guy. 
That did not land anywhere. Good. Uh, let's just move forward a tiny bit. Set up a spear wall here. And with you. Set up here. I mean, he can still move down here, but it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Put you there. And long axe. I'm gonna. I'm really looking forward to seeing the uh, long axe in action. In action. <laughs> oh, the buttons. Oh, the buttons. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Lots of shields. Ow. Okay. I. I take that. Yeah, he's waiting. Let's see if they move in. I have a feeling they won't. <laughs> Soon you will be dead, <laughs> says Dav Cool. Okay, Abaddon. It's very ominous. Very ominous indeed. But do, do you really think I'm gonna move there? Come on. How about we wait for this guy? Or oh, should I move in? I move in and I puncture him twice? No, once. Let's wait. Oh my lord! Really? You did that? You, you really did that? You just... Okay. Jeez, Sums. He's good. He is one good archer. See if we can hit him. Ooh, nice. Okay, you, you cannot, 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 ow. Retreat! <laughs> Retreat! Flee the battle! Uh, wait. Man, all these shields. All these shields be like, nah, we don't care. Eight percent? Is that even possible? Oh. <laughs> right in the face. Right in the face of danger. I think we'll uh, tank these guys. Good. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be perfectly fine, guys. <laughs> he, he took it to the face! <laughs> Near death! With a split nose, right in the face. Right in your face, I tell ya. I think he needs to go there. I'm not gonna go there. No, 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 no. And if he goes there, he can hit him, so let's not do that. There, he can hit him. Hey, David! Thank you very much for the host! Thank you, buddy. I'll wait with you. I want to hit this guy with the puncture. That's kind of my plan. <laughs> poke to the... Poke to the face! Oh, come on! Okay, then. You axed for it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. The axe puns are strong tonight, guys. Oh, they they don't want to play around anymore now. Ow! He got one. To the face. 50. Dang it. Uh... Come on. Would you do it? 
Um, so a real question that I won't pay for. You actually tried Total War Warhammer before, or are you going into the game blind? I played the first one. I have a couple of, uh, experiences with that game. And I've played about eight hours of Total War Warhammer 2. So, so a bit, a bit of experience in that one. But yeah, it seems to be very, very popular with people. Let's try and go in there. Just hit him. Nope. Okay. That's why I don't like daggers. I feel they're not doing anything. Nope. And you need to move. <laughs> Should people join the raid? People should join the raid in the uh, in the stream stream legends down below if they want to. Ah, uh, let's skip there. Oh, auto resolve bug. I don't know that, but sometimes the auto resolve is quite a lot better <coughs> than what I can do. That's for sure. I'm gonna play it on the easiest difficulty, just because otherwise it's gonna be a bit like Battle Brothers, I think. We don't want that. We, we don't need that. We need a good beginning. And a great end. Still don't know which, which uh, race I would go for, though. Because I, I really love the Lizardmen, but I really hate the Skaven. <laughs> oh my gosh. They are very, very hard to fight. Oh my... Not hitting this guy. 70 though. I got axe for you. This time he missed. Good. Repost and a few hits. Good. Ow! Of course he hits him. Could you please start hitting? Thank you. He's good when he when he gets hit like one or two times. He's usually very good. He did not like that. Oh, he did not like that much. At least they shield up. Dark Elves? Oh, that could be cool. That could be really cool. I really like the Dark Elves as well. Just because he couldn't hit anything else. Kill this guy already. There we go. Two fleeing. Gonna entertain this guy. Poke away at this one here. Uh, let's shield up. And then just surround him. Make him feel bad. Oh, he tried to run. Okay, I <laughs> thought it was one of ours. Dagos is good and warm. Okay. Cool. I haven't, I haven't tried those yet. I haven't tried those. I've tried the Lizardmen and I've tried the Skaven. The Skaven, they just feel weird to me. A bit weird. But they look cool and I really wanted to get some Plague Sensor Bearers and stuff like that. But, yeah. Very hard to manage with all the food consumption. Alright, let's see about these guys running away or just dying flat out. Ha! Ah, chopped. At least we didn't lose anyone. Oh, at least we didn't lose. Okay, loot. Um, 
We didn't get that guy's armor, so I must not have hit him in his chest. Or in, in his head. I must have hit him in his chest instead. Oh well. That's what happens. That was eight. How are we looking on... He leveled up. Cool. Absurdum. Plus two ranged. I need that, so... Range defense and fatigue. Alright, so he has the bow mastery. Overwhelm, no. Um, no. Footwork. Footwork is good if he gets caught in, in melee. Let's use that. So he can move out if need be. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know I need to dagger him. I need to give him a poke with my dagger thing. Alright, five arrows. We're running a bit low on ammunition here. Let's check out this place. Right there, a necromancer, some Vita Gangers, and armored Vita Gangers. We know those guys are tough. I have no idea what's out here. Oh, collapsed dwelling. There's a lot of stuff. On there? Yeah, this is definitely an undead campaign. This is definitely an undead campaign, I think. Or maybe there's just always a lot of undead guys out there. Mostly looking for brigands here. Let's visit uh, Grunforst. Oh yeah, we need to go to Tangrier as well, so it makes sense. They are being chased by something. Let's go there. Tangweer. Your end of game is war, and you got many undead orcs, so it doesn't mean... Okay. Okay. It's kind of funny we don't know what it's going to end up with, because we've had a bit of each. But someone said on YouTube that this is the undead. I I don't know. Maybe you can see. Tangweer has safe roads. Where are? Salt. This we can't sell for any higher. Ah, oh, I'm getting salty with this salt. lot of helmets. We don't need that many helmets. That's actually pretty good. The nasal. Rusty metal coif. Get rid of those. Arming sword. Tier 2. And another flail. The shield want to give him a better one that one oh <laughs> thorium <laughs> song request does not work does not work nope that's not gonna work <laughs> I turned that off And then back to Windberg. Okay. We're not seeing a lot of action here. These are really safe roads. You shan't belittle me, Nightbot. <laughs> Nightbot is, is kind of rude sometimes. Oh, man. Yeah, fine. We weren't getting any kills anyway. I thought it was further down. 
Oh well. We'll see about somewhere else. I thought it was from Grunforst. Okay. You find the nobleman's secret and the rather ragged looking Katu the Sigarius quarreling over the last piece of food on a spit. Apparently the lowborn got his fork into it first, but the nobleman claimed that his stature, high stature granted him the right of the meat. Um, in the company of Sellsword, no man is low or highborn. He gets disgruntled. Siegfried II looks aghast. He slowly lifts his fork from the spit and Katsu the Sigarius immediately shovels the last bit of meal into his mouth. The nobleman gets up and heads your way. He straightens before you, bumping his chest into yours as you look, lock eyes. A few of the men put their hands on their pommels. Siding with the lowborn, or I fancy you would being lowborn yourself. Don't ever expect to become one of us. You're a sellsword for life, remember that. Oh, come on, you sour puss. Let's drink to that. He's drunk. <laughs> uh, it didn't really affect him though. So he's he's uh, he's a bit mad now. Can only have wavering morale or worse was humiliated in front of the company. <laughs> and Ragnar died and Geist and the Revive died. He didn't like that. Put him there. Let's put him there, so he can he can chill off for a bit. <laughs> uh, that was funny. So what is our standing with these guys now? Open. Awesome. Okay. Uh, would you stop that? Stop it. See, now it's doing that again. Uh, save. Gosh darn it. Day 54 we're at. Nils the Normie is still around. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I can buy even more salt. If we can bring this somewhere good, it could be really good. It's even cheaper than before. Let's do it. Let's do it. I love trading. I love it. Let's get some goat cheese for the peeps. And some grain. And some berries. Now eat up and be nice. Alright, no missions here. Let's check. No cultists. For hire. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we go down here to uh, Drygrafen and see if we can find some work. <laughs> what is that music? Oh no. <laughs> if you put him in reserve, he won't really change his mood. Oh, okay. Alright, so if we... Put him in the fighting line. He's he's gonna be better after a while. Whoa! Oh, that's bad. Holy moly! That's a big group of brigands. That is. Okay, can we capture these guys? No. Let's just. Oh, there's so many. Oh, there's so many. Wow, that could have gone so extremely wrong. Look at them, they are all over the place. Brigand seven, eight, oh wait, <laughs> four, let's kill the four. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, do subscribe and share it with a friend or two. It really helps out the channel and to that effect me. If you want to stay in touch with me and get notified about new videos, go follow me on Twitter. You can also visit my Twitch channel where I stream every week. If you're feeling generous, consider subscribing on Twitch or supporting me on Patreon. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful game night.